actually I was checking my other uh, project, like where I did, uh, done with done this with other candidate. Like I did the same, but I got the correct value. But I'm not sure why I'm getting twelve here. So first, uh, today we see about PDF, PDF automation, and after that, I'll show you the same Excel uh, scenario from a uh, different project of mine. Today, first we'll see, uh, see about PDF thing. Uh, after that, I'll show you the Excel thing from under. Uh, in the workshop, if you go to the account page in order, you will be uh, able to see all the orders. And if you click on the details button, there you get an option PDF invoice. So if you click, uh, if you click on this option, uh, one file, one PDF file get downloaded with all the order details present in this page. So now uh, we are going to see. So after opening that file, PDF file, you can see the details like this, the PDF form. So we'll see how to uh, work with PDFs using Tosca. So first we have to scan the PDF. So to scan it, just right click on the folder app as usual and scan option. And from scan option, we have to select PDF. So usually we would select application for our application and uh, the other application so for this we have to the PDF. In order to scan the PDF, just type it on any folder. We can create new folder also. So scan and PDF option. Prompting us, it will be prompting us to select the PDF file. So, I'm selecting uh, order 
So this is the PDF scan window. First, I'll explain which options available here, and we will we'll see how to scan. So the first, uh, first uh, set of options is to um, if I'm scanning the text element from PDF, I have to select the text from this option and I have to drag and drop. I have to scan. And if I'm scan, if I'm capturing image element from PDF, I have to select this option and I have to capture it. So there is no PDF here, just a showing. And if I'm capturing table element, I have to select this option and then I have to drag and drop over the table in order to um, over the table in order to capture the table element. So in these options help us to define the type of element in PDF. Then save option. So after we are done with our work, in order to save, we will be using that option and scan new, new document. So if you want to scan any other document, so that time you can use that option and you can choose with the other PDF which you want, which you want to scan. And then zoom option. So in order to increase so normally, in order to see it more promptly, we can use this option. Then select document language. So if it, it, it is English language, so if you are working with any other different language, the PDF has contained some different language, that time you can select the language from this option. And I hide content. Uh, so if you want to uh, see or hide the content review, so you can see content view option here. So if you are clicking that hide content view, it will go off. And if you want to see the show content review, which means if you want to see the selected uh, control here, you can see using this content view option. Finally, close option. So uh, we'll scan the, so we'll scan, now we'll scan the objects, uh, the text that we want for the test. So I'll uh, scan payment method, shipping method. So just for example, I'll scan these two values and the table. And we'll see how we can verify that. Uh, So in order to scan uh, cash on delivery, I select a text and I'm dragging it over that. So it got captured here in the left in the right that we can see. So if you want to rename it, we can rename it. Then I am capturing shipping method. So 
when finally the table And for pro, uh, table element, so if you click on shipping method, so you can see the ground in content view, the ground the value is coming up. And product table, so this table, if you see this table in content view, um, there is some empty cell in between each cell, like um, between name price, there is one empty cell, and before name, there is one empty cell. So this table is not that proper. So if you have to with the case with all the table elements in the PDF, but with this demo uh, PDF, um, there are some empty cells between each cell. So while automating while giving the values in test case we have to keep in mind this thing there is some empty cell between so and while work while capturing the table so we can set the header row or item column so you can see the option here so i want to set this first row as header row so i'm selecting that so if you want to select the header column, you can see. And so here we have set the first row as the header row. So if you want to set different row as it, header row, you can select here the row number. So now we have selected the header row. Yeah, so now we have captured the three data texts from, uh, from the PDF. So, and one more thing, but the details that are present, like if we take this payment method text, that will be constant for all the PDF that we are downloading from demo also. And if you are taking shipping method and all the left side values will be common but the right side values will be dynamic so based on the orders that we are making and the values that we are giving while checking out the values will be different so if i'm giving payment method different one it will be different it will not be cash on delivery and if i'm giving different shipping method the value ground will be uh, changing into some other value and same way if I'm making some other different order other than blue jeans, I have to um, the values will be different here in the table. So the values that we have captured are dynamic. So they are not static. So when um, capturing dynamic values, we have to we have to use the anchor control method here to use the anchor control method and in anchor method we will have anchor control and target control so this will be the target control and we have to get the anchor control so this payment method will be the static value so we can use this one as the anchor control but with cash on delivery and for this one we can use this shipping method as um, anchor method sorry anchor control so in order to make it anchor, we have to first capture them. I've selected text and so I capture payment. So after selecting the anchor control, we have to right click on the anchor control and we'll get users text anchor for and all the captured elements will be coming up. Make payment method, shipping method, product tape. All those options will be showing up. So we have to select 
for payment. We want to use this as a table for payment method. From selecting. So that will be one arrow mark coming. So in the same way, we can capture the answer console for um, shipping method and product and table. Use the stitch tank as well. Okay, I haven't. Okay, I'll extend these three options. So this will remove the element and it will it, this option is to redraw the area so uh, now if we have draws so uh, you have to capture the shipping information you, uh, you want to capture shipping information but by uh, mistake you have just captured shipping the first stop of the value and if you want to redraw you can use this option redraw and you can capture it properly. And this option is to jump to. So here it is highlighted. As we are selected here, it is highlighted. Yeah, we can select this or like if I want to jump to payment method, this will go to that. The highlighted thing, the highlighting thing will be. Uh, going to that particular element. It will be jumping to that element. Okay, so for table, I'll be So now we are done with uh, scanning the PDF. Any questions from scanning? Uh, no. Okay. So I'm closing this window. This is the scan mode. We scanned these three elements payment method, shipping method, and product level. So, by default, uh, we are doing the PDF scanning. These two model attributes will be added automatically, like target PDF and PDF password for all the models. So, the target PDF means the PDF that we, have, that we want to test. PDF password. So if it is password protected, we have to uh, provide that in the escape section. So I'm just dragging in.
so then target PDF we have to enter the file path along with the file path we have to enter the data. So we scanned for the so we we scanned the PDF page with name uh, order underscore fourteen thirty nine ninety six one. So this is the order. So now we are going to verify the PDF with different things. fourteen thirty two three thirty eight. So I'm just copying and pasting this file part. It's not password protected and payment method. It should be cash on So with PDF. So uh, with PDF, we can only um, do two things mainly. So we can get the value from PDF or we can verify the value. We can get the value, like using the buffer action mode, we can get the value from PDF. And um, that is empty, sorry. So, and um, uh, this is first cell, and that is empty cell in the second cell. So, I'm going to the third cell for price verification. Price is 1.00. And for CLMP, first five. And this should be action mode should be select not maybe so now we are done with using the inputs i'm going to run it
So, I will release canvas again. So the first error we are getting the shipping method. So the the thing is the shipping method value here is drop, and the PDF that we are uh, using for verification as the shipping method is topic. So the text is little longer, and here is brown which is sharp. So like covering in store. But in in store it's covering, it's not taking up the pickup. So what we can do is we can increase the scanning area. So even if the value is longer than the capture value, it will it will accept that value. So as the value ground is shorter, it couldn't accept the old value of in store picker. And then we are getting the error from table. Okay, so the other row. Okay, so the other row was missed up so. Running the test case, it considered the first row as the first row. It didn't consider it as header row, so that's why we got that. Now I guess we can. Again. So verification was successful. So you can do the uh, RP automation with any queries. Uh, no. Okay. Yes. So we we'll see that Excel thing. Well done, the first three steps, five seconds. If it's not working in here, I'll show you from the different project.
I'm okay. Open different project.
So Shafiq actually we completed the sorry, we completed the main topics and from the syllabus that that is provided to you, there are uh, some small topics we have to see. So I guess tomorrow and the day after tomorrow we'll see those topics. And I guess maximum will complete by this Friday. Okay. Like wait time and some steering parameter, all those topics are that we'll see. That. And uh, I guess under additional topics, there are some topics. So okay. I'll explain you what is what are the purposes of those uh, topics. Like I guess um. Tosca data management. So all those topics are there. So I'll be explaining you about so all the topics that are present and additional topics. I'll be explaining you what are those things and where we can use that and all. So this is different project I'm opening now. So this is different project. You can see all the values are provided for the same page, uh, same Excel sheet, but the values for email only different. So the same values only are provided here. Ah, D12. So count. So that's the same thing I used. So I'll run this for you, and we'll see what we are getting. For this five six. Actually, it was working fine. 
it just got the five votes. Okay, actually it was working fine with this value, A, A should be, sorry.